Hi everyone, this is our channel, Meet the Real Story. Please, like, share and subscribe. Everyone dreams of winning millions of dollars with minimal effort. I had an opportunity to do so. Would you turn down such an opportunity? Yeah, I wouldn't either. My name is Mender, and I'm 21 years old. I live with my mother and my little brother. Dad left us 10 years ago. Mom tried to contact him, but failed, so she was forced to raise us alone. She turned down many marriage proposals after that. From an early age, I have dreamed of doing something good to pay Mom back for all of her efforts in raising us, so I decided to use my intellectual talent to do so. You see, I'm highly intelligent. I can memorize a vast amount of information. I always earned excellent grades in school. The only problem was that I knew I could never work hard to get rich in my own country because it was so poor. The only chance I had to get rich was to have a fantastic stroke of luck, like finding a gold mine or a magical money tree. My chance came along one day when a game show called Who Will Win Millions offered millions of dollars to the winner. In this show, you have to answer a series of questions ranging from easy to hard. The catch was that the last question was always extremely difficult to answer. The show announced that the next winner would win $3 million. That kind of jackpot was exactly what I needed to achieve my dream of helping mom, so I decided to apply to get on the show. They called me two days later to tell me that I had been selected to be one of the show's contestants. When I arrived at the show's studio, the staff greeted me and got me ready. A coin toss decided who would go first. I got lucky again and won the toss. As expected, the questions started out easy and gradually became increasingly difficult. I was able to answer the next to last question. So far, so good. The show was live and I was confident that my family was watching me, praying that I would win. The final question was next. Suddenly, the game show host called for a commercial break because the show's director wanted to talk to me. The director offered me $50,000 to be sure to answer the last question wrong. I was shocked. They cheated and played stupid games with people's dreams. I refused to play their game of skullduggery. The show resumed and I was lucky and was able to answer the last question correctly. It was an esoteric knowledge question, but I'd read about it before, so I got lucky again. The host was visibly upset. Nevertheless, he asked if I wanted to say anything to the audience. I said I did, and then I proceeded to tell the audience that, on the last break, the show's director bribed me to miss the last question on purpose. At that point, the show's producer cut the live feed, and the director had security guards escort me off the studio stage into the back room where, well, I can't remember what happened there. Waking up later in a hospital bed, I spent weeks recovering from mysterious bruises all over my body. I received a small reward from the authorities for exposing a scam. It wasn't $3 million, but I was satisfied anyway. The show was canceled, and the staff were arrested and served some prison time. I gave my reward to mom. What luck.